Yes, back again. Chefs in the hood, welcome to our kitchen. Um, let me just say this first. We need those likes and subscribes. So however y'all want to do it, you know, bell icon, get the notifications. Do whatever you got to do so we can keep bringing you these fresh recipes that we doing. Well, today, we are going to bring you a Mediterranean inspired dish. Um, we like to experiment with flavors here, so that's why we do things like that. We don't want to do the same old monotonous uh, recipes that we always see in the hood. You feel me? That's what Chefs in the Hood is all about. Um, it's not about us saying that we cook better than anyone or any of that. But anyway, Mediterranean style fish. We got some snapper here. You know, we gonna go ahead and uh, get that seasoned up in the oven. And uh, we got an ingredient called sumac. This is one of the um, ingredients that basically that you wouldn't know about right away. So I figured I would mention that first. But we got some coriander, we got some cumin, and we're going to do some salt and pepper and some garlic. And we're going to also do a little bit of thyme in there. Um, and then we're going to probably put it on a bed of couscous. So we're going to take our snapper. Okay, and basically what I want to do is I'm going to hit my snapper with some salt and pepper first, right? And then I'm going to take my coriander and my um, cumin. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. And then I'm going to go ahead and get this sumac here that I was telling you all about. That gave me a hard time. I had to go look for it. And um, actually, I went to World Market, ladies and gentlemen. World Market does carry a lot of the um, exotic type of products, the spices and stuff like that, that if you want to look for something and, you know, do something with different flavors, World Market is probably one of the places to go um, besides your local farmer's market or something like that. But anyway, we're going to measure out a tablespoon, a teaspoon, I'm sorry, a teaspoon of this sumac. Sometimes it smells lemony. It's like a, a lemony type of berry. Um, it has a distinct flavor. It's very pungent. And uh, you use it for dishes that have lemon in it. So that's what we're going to do with the sumac. And uh, we're going to go ahead and mix this up. Right? And we're going to take some of that and sprinkle it on the inside of our fish. And we're going to do both sides, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to take some of this thyme here and add that in the inside of the cavity of our fish as well. I need to grab another cutting board. Um, and we're going to get some garlic chopped up. Get some garlic over here, minced up. You know how we do, chefs in the hood. We actually got cutting skills over here. So watch us chop this garlic up. All right. So we made quick work of that garlic. We done minced it up. And uh, I just want to get a little water on my hands. And then... Um, we're going to go back to our fish. We're going to get some garlic in there as well. See that? That's how we do that. And see what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen? We got two cutting boards here. Y'all think we don't cook clean, that chefs in the hood? I mean, I don't understand. Like, what? what's the problem? You know what I'm saying? This is what we do here. You know what I'm saying? We ain't saying we, like the best chefs in the world or anything like that. And basically all we just trying to do is show y'all how to cook or you all, how you want to use it. That's what we trying to do here. 
So basically, what I didn't show on camera was you have to have slits in your fish. You don't have to have it. You know what I'm saying? But to put like a couple of slits in the fish, you know what I'm saying? To make it cook well, and then I push the uh, rub and everything down in it. You know, just pat it down. You can stuff it. I did both sides of the fish with my knife. You know what I'm saying? Chefs in the hood, we balling. We not balling, balling yet, but we got two knives here. You, you see what we doing here? We got, you know, I'm, 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 you know, we stepping our game up. Chefs in the hood, baby. And uh, we gonna go with this tomato here. And you see what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen? There's that non again. I keep telling you, chefs in the hood, we cook organic. You know what I'm saying? Y'all think we playing here. We ain't playing. You know what I'm saying? We for real, for real. Remember I was saying that before? All right? So we're going to get some nice rounds of tomato. Right? That's what we're going to do with this. So we're going to get this tomato out the way. And then we're going to go for some onion. You see that? Slippery over here. But you know, I'm all right. I got it. My knife skills are on point. And we're going to do the same thing with tri-colored peppers. We're going to get some rounds. You know, we looking real fancy. And now we're going with the yellow. And we're going to clean it up a little bit, ladies and gentlemen. We ain't going to just throw it in the, in the pan like that. You'll see. All right, so... What we're going to do is get our fish prepared for the oven. I already got the oven preheated to 425. So we got our fish here. So what I'm going to do is take, like, you see these ends of tomato that I had here? I'm going to take that and stuff it inside the fish. We're going to use all of these tomatoes for the fish. But I'm just going to go ahead and stuff, showing you how, you know, you don't have to throw this... I was getting ready to curse, ladies and gentlemen. I was getting ready, you know what I'm saying? I know the kids are out there. Can't do it. Chef's in the hood. We love the kids, you know what I'm saying? Chef all D, love the kids. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and stuff some stuff in this fish. Stuff some stuff in the fish. What kind of talk is that, ladies and gentlemen? But, you know, we're going to get a couple of those rounds. We'll do that end piece. See that? A couple pieces of that onion. What we're going to do is taste the, take the rest of this. We got some parchment paper here in our pan. And I'm going to go ahead and line the bottom with some onion. Right? And we're going to take a couple of those peppers, seeds and all, I don't care. Don't make me a difference. It makes me no never mind. And we're going to take our fish. And we're going to place it right on top. We looking a little crazy here. But you guys get the picture, right? You see what we're doing here. And I almost forgot about our tomato here. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to add our rounds of tomato as well along with this fish we just going to load it up we're going to go ahead and pop this in the oven so while we got our fish baking in the oven or whatever you want to call it baking broiling whatever we're going to make this zoo sauce so basically, Zoog sauce is serrano chilies. That's what these are, green chilies, serrano chilies, right? And um, it takes about eight to 10, so it's gonna be very hot. So what I'm gonna do is cut a few of them open. I'm gonna just do half, and I'm gonna take the seeds out of half of these. So let's go ahead and show you how we seed that. Get them seeds out. And make sure you don't touch your face or your hands while, you, you know, your face. Touch your hands. Touch your face while you're doing this because, you know, the oils will burn you. So, 
That's what we know, right? We got all our seeds and membrane, which makes it hotter. You know, I didn't completely clean them out, as you can see. But the seeds and the membrane makes the peppers hotter. So I just took out half. And then the other half, I'm going to do whole. So the other half, I'm going to do whole. Yo, that was crazy. Double entendre. You know what I'm saying? Yo, the, the, the lyrics is crazy. I'm trying to tell y'all. And then we're going to take some um, garlic and dump that in there. And we also have some cilantro. And we're going to stick the whole bunch of cilantro in there. And then what we're going to do is some caraway seeds. Some cardamom. Some cumin, some lemon juice, and we're going to do some salt and pepper. And we're going to get that to go. So, I don't know, I think uh, bootleg zoo sauce is ready. You know what I mean? Take a look at it. We gonna get it out of here and, and see what it is. Yeah. I guess that's the way it's supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? It looks, it looks okay to me. You know what I mean? Zoog sauce, ladies and gentlemen. I don't like this dish. I want to make it look presentable. I know this is chefs in the hood. But this is the dish I was looking for. You know what I'm saying? I wanted that glass. I wanted the glass action. You know what I'm saying? I wanted that glass action. I do want to give it a quick taste. I know it's going to be hot. It's actually pretty damn good. Wow. All right. So now, we're going to work on our couscous. We got some couscous here. And we got some broth. So we're going to get a cup of this broth. Right? Put that in there. And then we're going to get some butter. And put that in there. And then we're going to go with some salt and pepper. And we're going to bring this to like a boil before we add our couscous in. So we're going to add a cup of this couscous to our melted butter and our vegetable stock. It requires uh, water, but I like using vegetable stock. You know what I'm saying? I like my food to have a lot of flavor. You know what I'm saying? And if I'm not using meat, I'm going to definitely choose to use something like a vegetable stock or something like that. And like I said, here are chefs in the hood. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to Eat for Life. You know what I'm saying? And also, shout out to, to Evelyn from... Uh, um, food world food market. I'm sorry about that Evelyn because you know you helped me find that sumac But um anyway, this is what we do This is what we do We're not fake chefs We're not pretending to be a chef or anything like that But we're trying to show you how to cook good food at home food for you food for your lady Food for your man, your husband, your whoever it is, your significant other. That's what we do here. Chefs in the hood, baby. You know what I'm saying? Watch our couscous cook. We're going to take our fish out the oven. Roasted fish. 
It's looking pretty good to me. I don't know. We're going to get this plated. What we're going to do is get this lemon sliced up. I don't even know how I want to slice it. I don't know if I'm going to slice it into rounds or if I'm going to slice it into quarters. I'm just going to say rounds because I already started already. You see that? So, like I said, it's not about uh, really being extra fancy. It's just about cooking good food. And you see, I get them seeds out of there like that. You know what I mean? Just to get them out. And um, we're going to take a spoon here and our plate. We're going to get some of that couscous. See that? We're going to take our fish. I'm not going to take a whole piece of fish. I'm going to just cut it. So we got our fish here. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to be a perfect plating job, ladies and gentlemen. Because what we want to do here at Chefs in the Hood is eat. You know what I'm saying? We do care about the cooking, but we want to eat. I don't know how that looks to you. It looks pretty good to me. I don't know. It looks decent. And then we're going to take some of this zoo sauce and throw it right there. And that's probably a lot because that stuff is spicy. You know what I mean? Now, is give our food a taste. First, I'm gonna go ahead and go in for the fish. That is good, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and get some of that couscous. Now, Let's add our zoo sauce. Have a little bit of that too. Look at that bone, ladies and gentlemen. Better watch out. We dealing with real fish here. That's what I'm saying, real fish. Chefs in the hood, baby. See that? Delicious. Hey. Another recipe done, ladies and gentlemen. God's nerves. Peace to the seeds. Chefs in the hood. We out.